Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on and thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I've been shopping. I've been to Asda. Come and have a look what I've got. So we're going to have a sausage off. Um, I just seen these in Asda's. I was just having a little look around and I thought I'd buy these. Asda's Farm Stores 8 Pork Sausages. Uh, and I've seen these next to them as well. Richmond, 12 skinless pork sausages. So I thought we'd have a bit of a sausage off. So the farm store's sausages were 80 pence. And the Richmond's were two pounds. So that is one pounds and 20 pence more. So I just thought, well, let's do a comparison and see if they are worth one pound and 20 pence more. Could they be worth more or not? Well, that's what this is all about. This little experiment, comparison experiment. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll get them open and we'll have a look at the ingredients and the weights. So let's have a look at these both together. Look, so there they are. Look, this is them. Um, you've got the Asda Farm stores coming in at 454 grams and the Richmond's are coming in at 319 grams. So you can see they're considerably less weight than the basic as the farm stores. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at the um, ingredients of the cheapest ones for 80 pence. So you've got pork there, 51%. And a few allergies as well. You've got metabisulfate there if you want to have a look. Pause them ingredients and have a look at them. So just remember the pork content is 51%. Um, they are the nutritional information, if you'd like to have a look at that. So you've got per two sausages. Um, you've got the uh, 240 calories for two sausages. Um, where was it? Packed in the UK um, with pork from the UK for Asda Leeds. So we, the pork's from the UK anyway. Any more information? No. So we've got 51% with there. Let's have a look at these Richmond sausages. Um, the, the ingredients. Where are the ingredients? Let me have a look. Where are the ingredients? <laughs> are they right in front of my eyes? I can't find them. Oh, there, there they are, look. They're right there in front of my eyes. So the pork, pork content on here is 43%, look. Wow. 43% and you've got allergies of wheat. Well, I expected the pork content of these sausages to be a lot more. They're 51 and they're 43. Does it say where these are cooked? Uh, where they're packaged? Um, it just says there, look, whatever. That's sort of a code, isn't it? Uh, Irish recipe. Uh, our special Irish recipe is made with... Um, Subtle flavourings of nutmeg and pepper. But the secret of our success is a dash of family spirit. So get everyone together, dish up and enjoy. It says produced um, in Great Britain. There look. With the meat from Great Britain and the EU. Well, yeah, so that is them. There's the nutritional information there look. 100 grams grilled is... Uh, 264 what is it for 100 there 260 so they're a bit more calorific by what four calories which is nothing really is it so it's all about the taste test as well now i mean we know they're at one pound 20 more the richmond sausages and there's less less uh, pork in them as well considerably less pork so we're gonna have to cook them now so let's have a look at the cooking instructions so some of the cooking instructions for the Richmond's there. It's 20 minutes in the oven or you can do them in the grill. Um, so I'm going to do them in the, um, in the air fryer because <laughs> it'll be half that time. It'll be about 12 minutes in the air fryer at 190. Uh, and these, uh, the cheap as the ones uh, in the oven as, as well. 180, gas 6, 25, 30 minutes. You can fry them or you can grill them, look. So there's a few ways you can do them, isn't there? There's a few ways you can do them. It's up to yourself. It's personal preference of what you want to do. 
you know, if you've got an air fryer, use an air fryer. If you don't like an air fryer, use your oven. If you don't want your oven, use your grill. If you don't want to use your grill, you can fry them. <laughs> it doesn't matter as long as they're cooked at the end of the day, isn't it? <laughs> I'll tell you what, my shoulder's a bit sore. I had my booster jab yesterday, so it's a little bit tender, to be honest. Never, you know, all the injections I've had in the past, years ago, never bothered me one bit. And I have this little booster jab, and it's giving me jip in my shoulder. Sign of getting old, isn't it? So let's get this air fryer on. So I'm jumping the gun here with the air fryer. Need to get them out and have a look at them. So we'll do a comparison. We'll get them out and have a look. Started cutting the sausages there. <laughs> look at these. So there we go. That is a difference look. <laughs> look at that. To be fair, they don't, they both, I mean, that looks like more of a sausage, doesn't it? That one than that one. Look at that, looks like a, a finger. Looks like someone's finger. If you put a nail on there, it could be someone's finger, that look. <laughs> right, so let's get them on here. I'm going to get them in this air fryer now. Stop messing around. <laughs> so you can't get these mixed up, can you? That's the, the cheap one and, and that's the, the not the cheap one. <laughs> So I'll do two, I'll do two of each basically. Oh, that doesn't look right, does it? Look at that. Right, I need to wash my hands. <laughs> Keep washing my hands. Right, so there we go, look at them, look. Let's get them in the air fryer. Uh, hang on a minute. Oh, they're going everywhere. The sausages are going everywhere. So they're in, they're in there and there, look, they're right at the very bottom. I'll spread them apart. So that is them, look. You get that rack as well, that comes with it as well, look. Oh, let's turn her on. It's a, it's a woman, this, by the way. It's not it's not a man. So I'll do them in there. 180, uh, sorry, uh, let's have a look. There we go. 180 for... Um, we'll do them for 12 minutes and then we can always check the temperatures, can't we? So they're off. <laughs> So if you like this kind of content, please give the video a thumbs up um, and if you've not subscribed then maybe um, consider subscribing and hit the bell icon and you won't miss any of my videos. And let me know if you've had these sausages in the past as well, leave a message in the comments, these um, farm stores sausages, I've never had them from Asda. But um, I did, uh, a few people A few people have said do, the, do a sausage off, so that's why I'm doing it, that's why, it's to see which is the best and if, it, if, if one person watches this and it saves them £1.20, then this video, it's worked, hasn't it? It's worked, that's what it's all about, to try to save, save people money. That's what these comparisons are all about. I mean, do you shop with your eyes and think, oh, Richmond sausages, I don't care about any others. Or, or it's like walls as well, do you go, oh, I'm having walls. I don't care about others. The others must taste horrible. If you've never tried them, you don't know, do you? And that's what this is all about. So I'll bring you back when they're done. So I've got my, uh, my gift, this was a gift, a lovely um, thermometer, so they are well done them, they are done. That's how I like them, I like them crisp. So there we are, there's the pork there, look, 77, they're 100. So that is them. So I've got another gift as well, this was a really good gift, this one, and basically it's just, it just it's a grabber. You do like a grabber, and you just put, put it on your tray and you pull them out like that. Absolutely fantastic. Brilliant gifts. So these are sausages, look. Look at these. Look, so I've got a bit of shrinkage on this sausage. This one's had a bit of shrinkage, look. Look how much it shrunk. So they're the Richmond's. And these ones here are the Asda Farm Store sausages. So let me get a bit of better light for you. So we're going to try them now. We're going to try them. So let's get these cut open. I know you get 12 in there and you get 8 in there, but you get more weight with the Asda's. There we go. I'll turn it around. These are the Richmond ones. So let's get into them. So let's try the, uh, we'll try the Richmond first.
they're salty. Oh, they are salty. Wow, they are salty. Sausages. They're quite tasty, mine. I do like salt. They've got a bit of, just a bit of spice to them as well. But when I say spice, herby, er, herbs. Um, they've got, they have got a bit of flavour, to be fair. They have got a bit of flavour. So let's try this. This is the Farm Stores. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll have a drink first. Merry Christmas. Cup of tea. They're lovely as well. There's nothing wrong with them. Them farm sausages. Them farm sausages are not bad. The, the centre of them is quite... It's quite loose. It's like um, not a lot of body to, to the centre of them farm sausages. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, I just said loose, didn't I? But it's like they've been sort of mashed all processed up together in a blender and then stuck together with the, the skins on. So inside, there's not much texture to it. You're not getting much bite. However, they're tasty. They are tasty, I'll be honest. <laughs> for 80 pence so let's try the um, the Richmond again the two different flavours and I like them both to be honest there's not one going oh that's better than that one <laughs> you know they're two quid and they're 80 pence So what I've got, I've got, I'm going to make a sausage butty. I've, I've, I've buttered some bread and I've got some brown sauce. It's got to be brown sauce for me with sausages and red sauce for bacon. Let me know what you have with bacon and sausages. And obviously I'd like to have a big fry up as well, but <laughs> that isn't what I'm doing. So let me see. Let, to be honest, it comes down to your per personal taste. I like them both. I like them both as much as each other. Um, so they're two quid and they're 80 pence. I'll be honest, the best sausages for value for money are these without a shadow of a doubt, as does farm store sausages. Without a, These are 80 pence. And I'll tell you what, I, I like them. It's a draw for me. It's, it's a draw. I'm not going, oh, you know, phew, them... Richmond sausages, oh, they're the winner. They are clearly taste better because they don't. They're nice. And I like the farm store sausages as well. So there you go. 80 pence plays two quid. What would you buy? It's up to you, isn't it? This is why I do this. But the, the, the difference is, the taste is, they're both different, but it's up to you to decide. So I'm going to enjoy them now. I'm going to get some brown sauce over these and have my cup of tea. And then I'm going to answer your comments. So thanks for watching. If you got this far, I doff this Father Christmas hat to you. So take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.